there, cannabis lovers. Uh, I'm Mike Patterson. It's October 17th, the day that weed has become legal in Canada. And I know everybody's going to go out there and smoke their ganja all day long. And if anybody knows me, they know that I think that people who smoke weed are losers and stupid idiots. Because I personally like to eat it like a cookie or a brownie. So what I've done is I've decided to show you all a quick and easy recipe to make pub brownies to be just like Mike P. And the recipe is simple. It's Monica! What? Uh, can you make me some weed brownies, please? Sure. By now, you all have your government-issued paper bag of weed. Because the paper bag, it's the last line of defense against people getting your pot. <laughs> um, so, you ever hear you can't fight your way out of a paper bag? Well, now you can with marijuana. Look at this. What is this? This is amazing. So it comes in 15 grams, 3.5, and one gram little bitties. And today we are going to make butter, butter with the 3.5 gram size to make it easy for you. Well, in all honesty, you're going to make the butter and I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> I got a receipt for weed. This is what you'll need to make weed butter. We have the pot, a pot, uh, Stick of butter, mason jar, cheesecloth, um, pan with uh, parchment paper, and a grinder to grind up the pot. Or you can go old school, scissors in a shot glass. Yeah. It's really hard. <laughs> So just spread the uh, pot along, kind of flat here, and then um, this is not this step is not necessary, but I like to make a package out of it. Just put a little piece like so, but you can just put it right in the oven like this. We're going to bake it at 220 degrees. Um, decarboxylated our cannabis. Um, you do this just so that you don't mess it up later. It just activates the weed so now you can cook it, do whatever with it, and it'll transfer it to your food. Yeah. So what we do is we take some water, we boil it in a pot. Um, you don't want more water than will fit in here, um, but any, it doesn't matter how much water. So then we put the butter in the water. The reason for the water is so that it doesn't get too high, like you're gonna get later. The heat, that is. And then. Well, that's butter water. <laughs> and then we pour this in. What? Underwater good. weed, man. This is too. That's, yeah, good. Something like that. All this right. Is really interesting. together and let it cool a little bit just so we're not burning everything. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to drain the um, the bud out of the butter and water mixture. So this is cheesecloth and I'm just going to put it over and take an elastic over this mason jar, put it in here and we're going to pour this into here. A little well. All right. Good. in the fridge for a couple hours see the butter's already rising we want it to be just a hard layer and then we can drain the water out 
Um, so yeah, since we live in Canada and it's October, you can also just put it outside. So the butter sat overnight and now it is a hard little disc on top of all this water that we don't need. So I'm going to make a little cut with a little paring knife, like so, right across, and like so, and then we just poke, drain the water. Now I've strained it with a wire mesh strainer and transferred it to a bowl, and this will make four pans of brownies. We're making a really simple chocolate brownies recipe. Uh, we need sugar, flour, eggs, chocolate chips, butter, butter. It all goes into one pot. So I've got water boiling in a larger pot than this. We're gonna make a double boiler. Um, you take the butter and you put it in the pot. Then we add about a half a package of chocolate chips. Add our butter, which is about 20 grams or a quarter of what we made. Okay, so I have this water at a low simmer. Just put this pot right in here. And just let it melt. Once that's done, we'll take it out and put it on a heat proof surface. Um, while we're here, we're gonna preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Okay, now, very simple, you add the sugar, which is three quarters of a cup of sugar. Add that in. Next, eggs. One egg. Yeah. Two eggs. Yeah. Eggs. And we've got about a teaspoon of vanilla extract real or artificial, whatever, a little bit of sugar, just a pinch, and salt. That was salt. <laughs> a pinch of salt. <laughs> and then we add the flour, which is two thirds of a cup of flour. Very simple. And we stir. All right. So now we just pour into a greased um, nine by nine inch brownie pan. Um, I like to put parchment paper because I'm a big fan of parchment paper in general. Make it for uh, 25 minutes, half an hour. Um, it comes out like this, nice fudgy brownie. Um, cut it into one inch square pieces. And that's how you make Monica's pop brownies. Now these pop brownies uh, have a little bit of a lower dose so you can actually eat more of the brownies. Uh, I have a rule, uh, one brownie, it's uh, you're stoned. Two brownies, uh, you're stoned and you can read a Stephen King novel. Three brownies, you can uh, listen to Rush and read a Stephen King novel. Four, you can go to a Rush concert and have a Stephen King novel in your back pocket. That's the way it works. Never take more than five unless you're gonna see Judas Priest. Anyway, uh, this is how you do it. Remember, uh, if you do have kids, keep these in the freezer. Uh, make sure you say, do not eat, and keep them in the back of the freezer. Keep your butter in the freezer because kids don't go in the freezer and then lock that crap up with whatever. Because you know what I mean. Anyway, it's gonna be great. Have fun out there and uh, enjoy. Wow, my back pain is gone, just like that.